name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we give you our hearts and our souls. We pray this um, novena of the Holy Cloak for day, this is day 12, and we pray this for all our intentions. I pray this for our very far Holy Cloak, novena intentions, and any more intentions may add. And also, pray this for all, all the people here who are praying this novena alongside us on day 12. Again, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, we give you our hearts and our souls. Pray now um, the glory be, and the glory be, I pray throughout this novena, our to our Heavenly Father and thanksgiving for having exalted Saint Joseph to a position of such exceptional dignity. Glory be to the Father, to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Offering, O glorious Patriarch St. Joseph, we humbly prostrate ourselves before you. We beg the Lord Jesus, your Immaculate Spouse, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and all the angels and saints in the heavenly court to join us in this devotion. We offer you this precious cloak while pledging our sincerest faith and devotion. We promise to do all in our power to honour you throughout our lifetime, to prove our love for you. Help us, Saint Joseph. Assist us now and throughout our lifetimes, but especially at the moment of our deaths. As you were assisted by Jesus and Mary, we may join you one day in heaven. And they honour you for all eternity. Amen. O glorious Patriarch Saint Joseph, prostrate before you and your divine Son Jesus, we offer you with heartfelt devotion this precious treasure of prayers, being ever mindful of the numerous virtues which adorned your sacred person. In you, O glorious Patriarch, was fulfilled the dream of your precursor, the first Joseph, who indeed seemed to have been sent by God to prepare the ways for your presence on this earth. In fact, not only were you surrounded by the shining splendour of the rays of the Divine Son, Jesus, but you were splendidly reflected in the brilliant light of the mystic moon, the Blessed Virgin Mary, O glorious Patriarch. If the example of the ancient Jacob, who personally went to congratulate his favourite son, who was exalted on the throne of Egypt, served to bring all his progeny there, should not the example of Jesus and Mary, who honoured you with their greatest respect and trust, serve to bring us, your devoted servants, to present you with this precious cloak in your honour? Grant, O great Saint Joseph, that the Almighty God may turn a benevolent glance towards us, as the ancient Joseph did not reject his guilty and cruel brothers, but rather accepted them with love and protected and saved them from hunger and death. We beseech you, O glorious Patriarch, for your intercession, grant that the Lord may never abandon us in this exiled valley of sorrows. Grant that he may always member, number us among your devoted servants, who live serenely under the patronage of your holy cloak. Grant that we may live always within the protection of this patronage, every day of our lives, particularly at that moment when we draw our dying breath. Prayers Hail, O glorious Saint Joseph, you who are entrusted with the priceless treasures of heaven and earth, and foster father of him, who nourishes all the creatures of the universe. You are often Mary, the saint most worthy of our love and devotion. You alone, above all the saints, were chosen for that supreme honour of rearing, guiding, nourishing, and even embracing the Messiah, whom so many kings and prophets would have so desired to behold. Saint Joseph, save our souls and obtain for us from the divine mercy of God, that petition for which we humbly pray, and for the holy souls in purgatory grant a great comfort from their pain. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and there shall be world without end. Amen. O powerful Saint Joseph, you were proclaimed the patron of the universal church. Therefore we invoke you above all the other saints as the greatest protector of the afflicted, and we offer countless blessings to your most generous heart, always ready to help in any need. To you, O glorious Saint Joseph, come the widows, the orphans, the abandoned, the afflicted, the oppressed. There is no sorrow, heartache or anguish which you have not consoled. Dying, we beseech you to use on our behalf those gifts which God has given you, until we too shall be granted the answer to our petition. And you, holy souls in purgatory, pray to Saint Joseph for us. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Countless are those who have prayed to you before us, and have received comfort and peace, graces and favours. Our hearts so sad and sorrowful cannot find rest in the midst of this trial which besets us. O glorious Saint Joseph, you know all our needs even before we set them forth in prayer. You know how important this petition is for us. We prostrate ourselves before you as we sigh under the heavy weight of the problem which confronts us. There is no human heart in which we can confide our sorrow and even if we should find a compassionate creature who would be willing to assist us, still he would be unable to help us. Only you can help us in our sorrow, Saint Joseph, and we beg you to hear our plea. Has not Saint Teresa left it written in her dialogues that the world may always know, whatever you ask of Saint Joseph, you shall receive. O Saint Joseph, comforter of the afflicted, have pity on our sorrow, and pity on those poor souls who place so much hope in their prayers to you. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O sublime patriarch Saint Joseph, because of your perfect obedience to God, you may intercede for us for your holy life, full of grace and merit. Hear our prayer. For your most sweet name, help us. For your most holy tears, comfort us. For your seven sorrows, intercede for us. For your seven joys, console us. From all harm of body and soul, deliver us. From all danger and disaster, save us. Assist us with your powerful intercession and seek for us for your power and mercy. All that is necessary for our salvation particularly the favour which we now stand in such great need. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O glorious Saint Joseph, count us other graces and favours which you have obtained for afflicted souls, those who suffer illness of every nature, those who are oppressed, persecuted, betrayed, bereft of all human comfort, even those in need of their life bread, all who implore your powerful intercession are comforted in their affliction. Do not permit, O dearest Saint Joseph, that we alone be the only ones of all who have appealed to you, to be denied this petition which we so earnestly beg of you. Show your kindness and generosity even to us, that we may cry out in thanksgiving eternal glory to our holy patriarch, Saint Joseph, our great protector on earth and the defender of the holy souls in purgatory. Glory be to the Father, to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world for our end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
Amen. Eternal Father who art in heaven, through the mercy of Jesus and Mary, we beg you to grant our petition. In the name of Jesus and Mary, we prostrate ourselves before your divine presence, and we beseech you to accept our hopeful plea to persevere in our prayers, that we may be numbered among the throngs of those who live under the patronage of St. Joseph. We extend your blessing on this precious treasure of prayers, which we today offer to him as a pledge of our devotion. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Supplications in honour of St. Joseph, hidden life of Jesus and Mary. St. Joseph, pray that Jesus may come into our souls and sanctify us. St. Joseph, pray that Jesus may come into our hearts and inspire them with charity. St. Joseph, pray that Jesus may come into our minds and enlighten them. St. Joseph, pray that Jesus may guide our wills and strengthen them. St. Joseph, pray that Jesus may direct our thoughts and purify them. St. Joseph, pray that Jesus may guide our desires and direct them. St. Joseph, pray that Jesus may look upon our deeds and extend his blessings. St. Joseph, pray that Jesus may inflame us with love for him. St. Joseph, request for us from Jesus the imitation of your virtues. St. Joseph, request for us from Jesus true humility of spirit. St. Joseph, request for us from Jesus meekness of heart. St. Joseph, request for us from Jesus peace of soul. St. Joseph, request for us from Jesus a holy fear of the Lord. St. Joseph, request for us from Jesus a desire for perfection. St. Joseph, request for us from Jesus a gentleness of heart. St. Joseph, request for us from Jesus a pure and charitable heart. St. Joseph, request for us from Jesus the wisdom of faith. St. Joseph, request for us from Jesus his blessing of perseverance in our good deeds. St. Joseph, request for us from Jesus strength to carry our crosses. St. Joseph, request for us from Jesus a disdain for the material goods of this world. St. Joseph, request for us from Jesus the grace to always walk on a narrow path towards heaven. St. Joseph, request for us from Jesus the grace to avoid all occasion of sin. St. Joseph, request for us from Jesus a holy desire for eternal bliss. St. Joseph, request for us from Jesus the grace of final perseverance. St. Joseph, do not abandon us. St. Joseph, pray that our hearts may never cease to love you, and that our lips may ever praise you. St. Joseph, for the love you did bear for Jesus, grant that we may learn to love him. St. Joseph, graciously accept us as your devoted servants. St. Joseph, we give ourselves to you, accept our pleas and hear our prayers. St. Joseph, do not abandon us at the hour of our deaths. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, we give you our hearts and our souls. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Invocations to Saint Joseph. One, remember, O most chaste spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our good protector, Saint Joseph. Never was it known that anyone who came to your protection and saw your intercession was left unaided. Confidently we prostrate ourselves before you and firmly beg for your powerful intervention. O foster father, our dear Redeemer, despise not our petition. When your mercy hear and answer us, Amen. Glorious Saint Joseph, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and virginal father of Jesus. Look upon us and watch over us. Lead us on the path of sanctifying grace. Take heed of the urgent needs which we now beg you to envelop with the folds of your fatherly cloak. Dismiss those obstacles and difficulties. Stand in the way of our prayers and grant that the happy answer to our petition may serve for the great glory of God and our eternal salvation. As a pledge of undying gratitude, we promise to spread the word your glory while offering thanks to the Lord. Come so blessed, your power and might in heaven and earth. Let's now Saint Joseph. Lord have mercy on us, Christ have mercy on us. 
Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God the Father, heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Illustrious Son of David, pray for us. Light of the Patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chase Garden of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster Father, the Son of God, pray for us. Watchful Defender of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph Most Just, pray for us. Joseph Most Chaste, pray for us. Joseph Most Prudent, pray for us. Joseph Most Valiant, pray for us. Joseph Most Obedient, pray for us. Joseph Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Patience, pray for us. Lover of Poverty, pray for us. Model of Roadman, pray for us. Glory of Domestic Life, pray for us. Guide of Virgins, pray for us. Pillar of Families, pray for us. Solace of the Afflicted, pray for us. Hope of the Sick, pray for us. Patron of the Dying, pray for us. Terror of Demons, pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church, pray for us. Lamb of God takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He made him the Lord of his household and prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in thy ineffable providence did choose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of thy most holy mother, grant as we venerate him as our protector on earth, we may deserve to have him as our intercessor in heaven. Thou who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Closing prayer of the Holy Cloak. O glorious patriarch Saint Joseph, you who were chosen by God, above all men to be the earthly head of the most holy of families, we beseech you to accept us within the folds of your holy cloak, that you may become the guide and custodian of our souls. From this moment on we choose you as our father, our protector, our counsellor, our patron, and we beseech you to place in your custody our bodies, our souls, all that we are, all that we possess, our lives and our deaths. Look upon us as your children, defend us from the treachery of our enemies, invisible or otherwise, assist us as at all times in all our necessities, console us in the bitterness of our lives, and especially at the hour of our deaths. Say by one word for us to the Divine Redeemer, whom you have deemed worthy to hold in your arms, and to the Blessed Virgin Mary, your most chaste spouse. Request for us those blessings that will lead us to salvation. Include us among those who are most dear to you, and we shall set forth to prove ourselves worthy of, our special, of your special patronage. Amen. Prayer to Saint Joseph, to you do we cry in our tribulations, O blessed Saint Joseph, as we confidently invoke your patronage after thou of your most holy spouse, the Blessed Virgin Mary, by that sacred bond of devotion which linked you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God. And for the father love you lavished on the child Jesus, we beg you to cast a glance on those heavenly gifts which the divine Redeemer has obtained for all mankind through his precious blood, and through your power and mercy help us in our needs. O holy protector of the holy family, protect us children of the Lord Jesus Christ, keep far from us the errors and evils which corrupt the world, assist us from heaven in our struggles against the powers of darkness. And as you once did, protect the divine child from the cruel edict of Herod, and defend the church and keep it safe from all dangers and threats. Spread over all of us your holy patronage, so that by following your example, and aided by your spiritual guidance, we may all aspire to a virtuous life. Look to a holy death and secure for ourselves the blessing of eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Praise be to Jesus Christ, now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.